Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can configure additional paths in a BGP network. First of all, let's take a look at the topology. Then I'm going to tell you what is happening right now. And after that, we do the configuration and the verification. So BGP additional paths is a feature which, which uh, we can just send or receive or install some more paths in our BGP. Uh, table and of course in routing table by default you know that although BGP uh, receives more than one path towards the destination in case there are multiple paths to destination but it just installs one of them in our routing table which means that ECMP is not going to be done in there if I have multiple paths to destination then I can just select all of them or some of them and then install them in our routing table so that we can just get to destination through different uh, paths in my topology as you can see i have two different autonomous systems one of them as 100 one of them as 200 and as 100 as you can see i have two ebgp adjacency one of them between router 4 and 5 and one of them between router 4 and 6 and one of them between router 4 and 7 router 8 is advertising 8888 and uh, if everything is okay i want to get to 8888 from router 1 from both of these paths as you can see by default router 1 is going to receive only one of them my network, I have router 2 as route reflector, also router 3 as route reflector. They are in different clusters, but this is not so important in this case. Um, all of other routers in ACE100 are route reflector clients, router 2 and router 3. And these two links between router 2 and router 5 and between router 3 and router 4, they have higher costs than these links, which means that these are not going to be used because their cost is a little bit higher than this so i just wanted to make sure that i'm going to use uh, both of these routers as exit points if i did not do that then what is going what, what was going to happen is this router one for example would send the traffic to router three and to router two router two would select router four as best exit pass although both of these links would be the same cost and router 5 would be uh, available for router 2 with the same cost as router 4 but router 2 would choose router 4 because of its lower router id router 3 would choose router 4 because of its lower router id although the cost for both of them would be the same and because i didn't really want this to happen i just made sure that this has a high cost this has a high cost and they would be used just in case uh, in case for example this link would go down or this link would go down okay so let's go to uh, current configuration i just want to show you what we have right now if i go to router one and check show ip bgp you can see that i have 8888 only one of them which goes through router six is uh, selected as best if i say show ip bgp 8888 then you can see that this one is marked as best but we don't have a second best or something like that if I just say show IP route 8888, you can see that I only have one route installed on my routing table. Now, installing two routes in my routing table would be uh, very simple because I have right now two uh, different paths toward the destination. For this, of course, I'm going to go to router BGP to address family IPv4 unicast because I have these as IPv4 unicast address family then I can just say max paths and I'm going to say IEBGP or EIBGP as a matter of fact because I just want to make sure that even external or internal both of them are going to be installed and I'm going to say two of them should be installed it says this may cause traffic loop if you are not careful this is going to happen in my topology of course this is not possible so now if I say show IPBGP you can see that this 8888, the first one is marked as best. The second one is marked as multipath. And if I say show IPBGP 8888, you can see that now 
This one is best. This one is called as multipath and this is going to be installed. It doesn't say second best because I am not selecting. I am just receiving. And if I just say show IP route 8888, you could see that uh, I have both of them installed in my routing table. Now installation is okay. I have received two paths based on max path. I just decided that I'm going to install both of them in my routing table. But what if I want to do this on router 2? If I go to router 2 and do the same thing, let's go to router 2, go to configuration mode, router BGP100, add this family IPv4 unicast, and I'm going to say max paths EIBGP2 max path of course with the dash in here or maybe i'm not so sure how do you write it max path, maximum paths eibgp2 then if i say do show ip bgp okay i have multipath installed for 8888 and if i say do show ip bgp for 8888 i have these two um but if i say do show IPBGP neighbor 1111 advertise route advertise route advertise routes come on okay I'm sending only one of them to router one I'm not sending both of my uh, routes to router one so router one is not receiving multiple paths from me as a matter of fact here we had this so like I said router 1 has received one of them from router 2, one of them from router 3. But it doesn't receive it, both of them from router 2, or two of them from router 2, one from router 3, or something like that. So with this, I'm going to say, okay, router 3 is going to send multiple of them, is going to install multiple of them, is going to receive multiple of them in case there are uh, some received. So I can just do this. I'm going to say BGP additional paths and here we can say install okay this line of command on different routers um, I have seen that this is not super effective whether it is there or it is not this is going to install everything in our routing table so that one is not so important but if I say okay in case there are multiple I'm going to receive them so I'm going to say receive I'm going to say in case there are multiple, I'm going to send them. Okay, I'm going to do that. But the other thing which is important is, okay, how am I going to select them? BGP additional path selection criteria is going to be based on something. I can just say, okay, all of them, or I'm going to use a backup one, and I'm going to say best two, best three, or best external, or group of best ones. I'm going to go with best two as a matter of fact so i'm going to receive two of them and i'm going to send them and i'm going to install them so if i say show run section router bgp now these are the commands which are going to be important for us maximum paths send and also receive and i should go with this send and receive okay so that would be better now if i just check that okay these are the commands that i'm going to use so let's just go with them i'm going to use this i'm going to say configure terminal rather bgp 100 address family and also i'm going to say maximum paths eibgp2 so these are the commands that i need and also i'm going to say and and wr on all of these routers you do not have to install these commands on all routers but what i'm going to do is to just do it on router one of course this is not going to have any effect but let's say the router one has some other neighbors that is going to send these base paths to them so I just want to go with them. So on router 2, I want to do that. On router 1, maybe. On router 3, router 4, and router 5. Of course, all of them are having this. Now, the effect on this, 
uh, is going to be this. If I just go to router 2, which is my rot reflector in this case, and rot reflectors are super selfish, you should know that. In my case, rot reflector is an inline rot reflector, but this is the case about offline rot reflectors as well. They do not select the base for us, they select the best from their own point of view. So router 1 is not going to receive the best for itself, it's going to receive the best from router 2's point of view which is one of the reasons that I'm trying to advertise multiple paths to router 1 so that router 1 decides which one is going to be the best for it. So if I just go to router 2 and say show IP PGP neighbor 1111 advertise routes okay so this is sending the best to the other side uh, the same thing on router 3 Okay, so let me just do something clear. IP, BGP, any inbound and outbound. I'm going to do this for all of these routers because I just want to make sure that the result is going to be exactly the same on all of them. So router 8 is receiving, sending this one to router 1. Router uh, 2 is sending this to uh, router 1. They are sending the best number 1, of course. If I say show IP BGP, you can see that router 2 has multipath. This I means IBGP. This A means uh, here, as you can see, A up there here, additional paths. And on router 3, the same thing, show IP BGP. Here we have the same thing for 8888. If I go to router 1 now and say show IP BGP, okay, so I have this here but like I said on router 1 this was not necessary uh, 8888 if I just remove this slash from here and show it to you you can see that I have the first best I have the second best and the same thing of course is the case about router 1 and router 2, router 2 and router 3 so if I just say okay show IPBGP8888 on router 2 you can see that I have two best but the first best was, was sent to others on router 3, of course, the same thing. On router 4 and router 5, of course, the same thing. Okay, so on router 1, now if I just go back to show IP route. Again, I have two of them. The result for router 1 is not going to change, like I said. Router 2 and router 3 are important, but again, we can just do this. I'm going to select a trace route to 8888. I'm going to source it from my loopback 0 and you can see that both of these paths now are selected as the best path out of my network. One more thing that I'm going to check on any of these route reflectors. I'm going to say router BGP100 address family IPv4 unicast and this line of command BGP additional paths uh, send receive send of course I should say send receive and head it doesn't say how many of them should you send or how many of them should you receive but anyway Maximum pass, of course, has configured this. And if I just say show run section router BGP, this is the resulting configuration that we have in here. This maximum pass, this installation, and also BGP additional select best two. I could say select best all and check the result. If I just say select best and after that two and after that all. And I could do this on all of these routers, but let's say that I'm going to clear IPBGP any out. Then I'm going to say do show IPBGP neighbor 1111 advertise router routes. And of course the result is going to be the same in my case. Okay, uh, this is how you configure additional paths and the result of your configuration. I hope this has been informative for you and see you in next videos.